Hi everybody, I'm John Bielfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse in the heart of beautiful Owasso, Michigan. Today I've got a great recipe for you, a lamb or chicken biryani, one of my favorite Indian dishes. Let's get right in the kitchen and get started. Here's everything you're gonna need to make my delicious lamb biryani. A pound to a pound and a half of lamb stew meat cut in bite-sized pieces, one large sweet onion sliced very thinly, four tablespoons of butter, two cups of basmati rice, two minced garlic cloves, one half cup of golden raisins, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one half a cup of thinly sliced carrots, that's also optional, a cup of frozen peas, that's also optional. For my seasoning blend, I use a tablespoon of garam masala powder with one tablespoon of madras curry powder. You could use two tablespoons of any good curry powder and I think you'd be just fine. That's along with two teaspoons of salt. A pinch of saffron, that's optional. I never put saffron in until about 10 years ago when I had a great birani in Toronto. Tasted the saffron and added it to the dish. And a half a cup of chopped cilantro. Our first step is to brown the lamb in half of our butter, about two tablespoons of butter, with a little pinch of salt. We want to turn that meat over a few times, make sure we get it brown on all sides. Once we get some nice color on it like this, we're going to add water, enough to cover it good. Give it a good stir. I brought this up to a nice simmer. I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for about an hour. We'll check to make sure the lamb is tender and go on to the next step. So it's been exactly an hour and I've just checked the lamb. It's tender and ready to go. So now I have to pour this all out of the pot reserving the water and the lamb separately. So I drain the lamb through a strainer into a bowl. Now to that reserved cooking liquid, I've added enough water to have three complete cups. And to that, I'm gonna add our saffron. Now I've added our two remaining tablespoons of butter back to the pot. I've thrown in our onions and we're gonna brown those with a little bit of salt. I do want these onions to take on a little color. Now I think those are looking about right, so I'm gonna pull the onions off to the side, add our rice, and we're gonna brown that rice for about two minutes, two or three minutes. You can see how this rice is going from translucent to white with a little tan, starting to take on some color, so we're almost there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add our lamb and saffron water back in and all of our other ingredients with the exception of the cilantro that goes in at the very end. Give that a good stir. Add your lamb back in. That's come up to a nice boil. I'm gonna cover it and simmer it on low for about 25 minutes. So that's been 25 minutes now. I'm gonna turn off the burner and let it sit for five more minutes. So now that's been another five minutes. We're gonna take off the top and see what we got. Oh man, that looks good. So I'm gonna stir in the cilantro now. And I gotta tell you, uh, mint goes really good with lamb. Morgan happened to stop by with some of our mint from our garden. So I added about two tablespoons of that. Again, not necessary, but it sure will give it another. What I love about birani is that every bite you're getting a different, you know, taste, a different flavor. And, uh, oh my God, that looks good. So let's dig into that. I'll plate it, and here we go. And there's a beautiful lamb birani with a side of homemade raita. Hey, thanks for watching another exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. By the way, when you watch the video, please join my channel, Scratch Cook with John, on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon. This recipe makes enough for about six adults. Make sure you check for salt at the end, and enjoy. The two basic differences in making the chicken birani and the lamb birani is you don't have to boil the chicken. As soon as it's brown, you pull it out, put the onion in and go straight from there. And you'll be using chicken stock instead of the lamb cooking water.
And to me, no virani is complete without raita to put on it. Here's a very simple recipe for it. Make sure you use regular yogurt, not Greek. Hey, imaginary Sarah, happy National Tequila Day. And this is great, by the way, thank you. I don't know how these people do it, they, you know, I, making these videos. Uh, it's like Tom Dalton came in here with Under the Radar and they make it look so easy. And it's not easy. You have to cook. And while you're cooking, you have to video and say the right things because the whatever you're making keeps happening. And if you screw up what you're talking about, then there's no way to go back. You, you know, you have 14 ingredients and you got to pronounce them all right and get through it all the way to the end. This is tough work. I can't wait to go back to just having to run two companies.